Today we're going to take a look at one of the most important aspects of the political spectrum. Donald Trump hair. Now the man doesn't have a lot of secrets. He tends to just speak his mind. Whatever comes into his head, he will uh, find a way to uh, definitely verbalize it. The wind kills all your birds. So not, not a man of many secrets, but his hair has baffled even the greatest scientists of our generation in terms of the direction that it grows. Which way? No one knows. Does it grow this way? Does it grow this way? Does it grow this way? No one knows. We're gonna try and uncover it today. Let's go ahead and, uh, and see what we're working with, shall we? If we go ahead and just uh, Google Donald Trump, see what uh, pops up. Here's an excellent, ex <laughs> excellent example right off the bat. You can see what's going on. You see this hair is kind of going that way, it's going here. But what in the world? What's going on here? It's like, it's, flo it's levitating by itself. There's nothing below it. It's just a levitating a piece of hair on top. Like, take a look here. It looks combed forward, combed forward, I guess. You can't tell, is it for forward? Is it combed backwards? which direction because it looks different like you see it here and then you see it here and it's going in a different direction i think you get the point the head of hair on trump's head is a mystery and today i would like to explore the world of trump's hair with you and see if we, together we can uncover the mystery and find out the truth of donald trump's hair i think a great place to start is uh you know it's hard to keep secrets when the wind is involved the wind will reveal which you don't want revealed anyone who styles their hair and steps out into the wind you know what i'm talking about unfortunately trump's hair is as light as just like fluff it's literally fluff that's got to be the worst <laughs> It's just pausing right there. It looks like uh, like a male bird when it ruffles its feathers to get the attention of of, it, of its females. It look like I've got I've got the biggest feathers. Look at me. Come and have my babies. Who is Trump's hair beckoning to, huh? But that's not the only time that we see Trump's hair flapping in the wind. Oh no. Oh no. We got more. Don't worry. Have you seen the video of President Trump's uh, hair flapping in the wind? And his hair tried to fly to Mar-a-Lago. <laughs> It's the same problem area. He needs to figure out a solution. Just maybe a little bit of duct tape before you board the plane. Get some double-sided tape, smack it right there, lay the hair over. Simple solution, Mr. Trump. Mr. President Trump, you can hire me as your personal grooming man. I will do an excellent job. <laughs> Look, his hair is waving goodbye. This is a, He doesn't have to wave goodbye from the back. His hair is taking care of it for him. Trump walks this way and his hair is saying, see you later. Bye-bye, everybody. See you when I get back. The wind kills all your birds. All your birds killed. You know the environmental... <laughs> all your birds killed by the wind. The wind up in the sky, we need to annihilate it. We're going to build a wall in the sky around the wind. Have these birds live in peace. These birds flapping in the wind. My bird has three wings and his head is over here. So he's a bit dis dis disfigured and disformed. But you know why? It's because of the wind. Disfiguring, disforming, making him grow a third wing. Don't exactly say it makes your farmlands look beautiful. You got all these windmills all over the place going, driving you loco when you look at them, right? It's like hard to respond in a way that is respectful sometimes with some of the comments that I hear. This man, this is not a political video. Never mind. Now we know why he's anti-wind. <laughs> exactly. It's, it's the hair. It has nothing to do with the birds. Oh, I'm so glad they put this picture. We can take a closer look. Where does this bit come? Where does this bit specifically come from? Right here. All right, we've seen how uh, Trump's hair reacts in the wind. It doesn't hold up too well. But let's see, what does Trump have to say about his hair specifically? Or what's this one? Donald Trump lets Jimmy Fallon mess up his hair. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Donald Trump. I just wanted to know if there's something we could do that's just not presidential, really, or something that, that we can do now that we're just both civilians. Like, <laughs> like what? Like what? What do you want, Mr. Fallon? Can I mess your hair up? That's the question everyone would have wanted to ask. Go ahead. <laughs> Again, taking a look at this interview, his hair is going in a different direction from some of the pictures that we've seen. It's a new direction. It always looks the same, but different at the same time. Oh, what's he gonna do? Look, oh my gosh. How does it go from like fully covering the scalp to exposing all of it at the same time? <laughs> it's really long too. Looks like he's going for that uh, modern slick back, huh? Someone's been tuning in and listening to the tips. I see you, Trump. Now, there's something I gotta give Trump credit for. Not a political video, okay? But he lets people mess with his hair and he's not afraid to admit that maybe he doesn't have the best head of hair in the world. The question of morals and honesty and ethics tends to be a little bit muddled. There's a lot of different opinions uh, when it comes to Trump and these things. But when it comes to Trump and his hair, he's pretty, uh, pretty straight with it, pretty straight laced, and uh, he's just gonna tell you like it is and let you play with it, which is, I gotta say, a lot more than what a lot of guys would do. A lot of guys don't want people's fingers near their hair. Trump, he's cool with that. I really am very smart. 
and I'm very competent, and I'm really good at business, and I can make this country so rich and so great again. This was uploaded in 2015. We all need this kind of confidence. I'm smart, I'm intelligent, I'm really great, I'm so clever. First of all, these are all things that mean the same thing. I could never say those words and be sincere with myself. That's the, that's the superpower that Trump has. Maybe they don't like my hair, which is real, by the way. Look at that sucker. <laughs> Come here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look, look at that. Look how far back my hairline goes. Come on up here. Get over here. Is that sucker real? <laughs> it's thin, but it's real. Okay. Oof. It's thin, but it's real. That is... That, that's some savage remarks. Trump was not expecting that, the, 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 the slight um, uh, critique there. Do you hear me say, okay, okay. I guess he wasn't like a president at this point. Was he? I don't even know. Where does time go? Who was in charge three years ago, four years ago? When was 2015? Six years ago? Five years ago. I thought it was 2021. I'm losing my mind. Thank you, Dad. Be careful. Did he just tap, tap her butt on the way down? Take care. Get on out of here. Ah. Get on out of here. Scoot. Calling my hair thin, get out of here. I respect the, 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 the part where he lets people just kind of get in there. You know, he embraces the fact, he, like, he knows that he doesn't have the best hair in the world, but he's still is gonna let you know that it is real and he's gonna let your dirty, grimy fingers get up in there to prove it. Again, hair is different here. You see, going sideways, kind of down, and then it's come forward this time. How does, he, how does he have the ability for it to look the same, but sometimes it's come forward, sometimes it's come backwards? I don't know, I can't, can't figure it out. Yeah. And all of us want to know if your hair is real, or if it's a toupee, or if it's a comb over, or if it's some sort of like dyed amalgamation or mix of one of the above. Most... <laughs> that, uh, that caller was like genuinely interested. She, wanted, she gave him all the options. Is it real? Is it a toupee? Is it a wig? Did you glue it on? Did you kill a possum and stick it to your head? Tell me what you did to your hair. It is not a toupee, okay. He had to he had, he had pause and make sure. He's like, it is not, yes, it is not a toupee. Okay, All right. will you please inform the public? Okay. It's not a toupee. Now hold I mean, on, I don't lean say... forward a little. Not a, no, it's not a toupee. It is not a comb over. It's not a toupee. It's not a comb over. It might possibly be a dead possum. Still up for debate. I'm looking at it. Now it's a mess. You've always... Uh, it's, now it's a mess. He, this is the other thing that he, he does when someone touches it or plays with it. He uh, just, like, thinks that it's completely messed up even though it looks exactly the same. And I think there's a little bit that makes him feel a bit self-conscious that his hair's out of place. All right, we're about to get some grade A advice on hair care from Mr. Trump. Listen up, ladies and gentlemen. Take a shower, I wash it, I then comb it, I then set it, and then I spray it, and it's good for the day. <sighs> that hurts, that hurts my heart. It's far too simple. Mr. Trump, don't you know that if your hair routine takes less than 27 minutes, you're doing it wrong. He showers, washes it, dries it, combs it, sprays it. Five hairstyling secrets featuring Donald Trump. Is anyone allowed, else allowed to touch her? Yeah. Really? Sure. I mean, it doesn't bother me. <laughs> you see, he's like, but my hair, whatever. You want to come and finger my hair? Be my guest. Step on up. Form a line, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, whoever wants to touch my hair, form a line, $5 each. No problem. I'm sure, I bet he was thinking about monetizing it in his head. He's a businessman. That's the deal, eh? Oh, it's mine. Wow. It's, it's mine. Good. Wow. I've never felt this texture before. I've never seen anything like this. I'm telling you, Donald Trump's hair is a worldwide phenomenon. I'm not the only one who's intrigued. Even people in person feeling his hair are still in disbelief. It's not bad, right? I actually, have a, I actually have a hairline, too. Good. <laughs> I have a hairline. It's way back on the middle, the middle top bit of my head right here. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you what, all my friends that are my age, they're, they're gone to Look at my man over there. He's my friend. He's my new friend now that you messed up my hair. Sorry, it didn't, actually didn't move. <laughs> friends their hair is gonzo they bold they bold and bright up top not me though now that he's president no one will dare do what donald trump once invited come on barbara get over here barbara walters to do now you're gonna mess it up for this interview no. okay, okay. how many people has he invited to touch his hair it's like he he constantly needs to reiterate the fact that his hair is real even to people in person people look at him and they're like is that the top, is it real? So come over here. Get your fingers in there. For goodness, how many times do I have to tell people that this is real? Remember Dr. Harold Bornstein? And he no. stayed for 30 years. You done. Stop it. You done. You Even his wife Appreciate once tried to heart. stop him from doing an interview with CNN, but he told the Times that President Trump takes a small dose of Propecia. Okay, I'll be honest. I, I'm not super clued up on Propecia, but it doesn't sound like 
it should be the most secretive thing in the world. It sounds like a hair supplement, something that you take uh, maybe to keep some hair. I'm sure that I'm sure the concern is the side effects and whatnot. Leading Men's Journal to ask, should the leader of the free world be taking Propecia? Should the leader of the free world be taking steps and preventative me measures to stop hair loss? Is that really where his priority should be? It's a drug that reduces hair loss, but it has side effects. Mm. Anywhere from two to ten percent all those side effects were sexual do you see that if trump doesn't mind the side effects let him take his propicia let him keep his hair let the let him keep his hair so the people can keep questioning what's happening on top of his head because the day that he goes bald is the day that i lose interest and with that thank you guys for watching uh did we learn something i don't think so his hair grows in every direction possible if you do want to get your hair under control and looking the best it possibly can check out blue Mon products we've got that down below and i'm shipping a box to mr trump at the White House uh, as we speak. Thanks for watching, and I'll see everybody next time.